Lovely big tits. <laughs> Frank? I like the nipples. I do like the nipples. Donald? Yeah, um, great tits. <laughs> We were meant to be in Mongolia in Ulan Bator, the finish tomorrow. line tomorrow. We're actually not even halfway through Kazakhstan in uh, what city is it? Kostanay. Kostanay. And the imp is done. 
The imp is dead. We've been towed 500 kilometers by the Irish boys on some decent road, some horrific road. Yeah. The horrific road was at night, as that's just what our luck is. Yeah, it always seems to be the way for us. Both in the pothole rubbish road at night. There is some good news, however, in as far as I just found roughly a pound in my pocket. That's going to go right back there and find some good news. But yeah, this really sucks. I really wanted to get the car to Mongolia and really wanted to get it home again. But uh, what's going to happen now is Frank's going to fly home from somewhere. We haven't really worked that one out yet. <laughs> and uh, once he's safely on his way, I'll be cracking on with the Irish boys in their two seater pickup. The three of us. It does have three seat belts, but one of them's got a gear stick right between his legs. So his legs are sitting in. So it's I'm good for amputees and children. Yeah. So I'll be sitting in it. And uh, yeah, we're going to drive another, what, 4,000 miles? So that's where we're at now. The car's, the car's done with it, unfortunately. We're, uh, we're outside the police station now, we're back here, we've done a bit of the paperwork and stuff down at Customs, waiting for a taxi to come and tow us down to the Customs office. And these guys are just kind of swamped around the car, just stripping it for parts now. But yeah, they're actually stripping the car for everything. It's okay. History. Yeah, yeah. Frank, how do you feel about them stripping the car for parts? Um, mixed emotions. <laughs> It's a bit surreal, to be honest. It's a bit bizarre. And these guys are having everything. Well, this really is now the last journey in the imp, we think. Um, the first place we went to turned out to be a police station. Uh, so we went to the customs office, did a lot of the paperwork over there. Um, and they said, right, now we have to bring the car to the customs office. So before we take the car over there, we took off anything we wanted, took out anything that we still wanted to keep. Um, and then about 10 locals, policemen, passers-by, anyone who wanted anything, started ripping it off the car pretty much. Gutting to be leaving it and that, but I guess there's just, there's really not much we can do now. It's, it's too far gone. I was just saying to Ollie, I can't believe the extent of the damage to the shell, which is just folding in half. So we have left the end. And that's it. Frank was just saying that car was nothing when we got in and uh, we got to it this far, fixing it all those times, it's all the way between London and now, right back before we even got to Dover and the brakes broke. Yeah. It's, uh, it really sucks.